State of the Map 2020. Um, so I'm Gregory. We're just making sure that everyone gets here because now I would normally be shouting maps and asking you to come from the foyer into the main hall. But I guess you're here already. Um, so I can look onto my computer and see. Um, so if you're on Twitter or IRC, perhaps you'll say hello and I'll know that people are watching the video feed. Um, in a moment, I'll wait for that and perhaps see some things. In a moment, I'll uh, I'll go through some notices um, here and uh, and yeah, we'll we'll get started. Um, I think we want to just check people are watching um, and then we'll continue. But this, you are in the right place for um, State of the Map 2020. Um, so let's see, I'm not sure if anyone's there yet, but we'll check. Um, and I think people are watching. Um, there we go. I think we were going to have Christine do a welcome. Um, but yeah, brilliant. So there's IRC, Telegram and Twitter all saying hi. Um, so I've got the slides here and I'll uh, give you a welcome. So I'm Gregory. It's nice to meet you. I'm your session host today um, for this morning to welcome you to each talk and to um to State of the Map 2020, whether it's your first one or you've been several times or uh, maybe just a few. Um, now, we're all online this year, um, so we'll continue to use lots of social um, channels and, um, and yeah, as to keep the conversation going while talks are happening and in between the talks. So on Twitter, you can use the hashtag Sotom 2020. Um, there's been lots of tweets already as we gear up and introduce ourselves. You can also mention the Sotom Twitter account at Sotom. Telegram, which has been popular for a number of years, um, we're going to reuse the group that's got most of you in. Um, so that's the link with Sotom 2018 in it. Um, and you should, uh, should all be in there. Uh, or lots of you. And for using IRC, it's the OFTC server where all the other open street map channels are. Um, but for talking about the conference, um, you can use um, osm sotom ct for Cape Town. Um, and uh, you can create your other groups as well. But those three main ones are the channels across social media that will be monitored by our virtual info desk um, team this year, and they're happy to answer your questions. So if you forget anything in the notices or if I've missed anything off, um, you can go to those channels and ask a question. For this morning, the info desk is being managed by Bernal. Um, she'll, she'll be answering um, answering any questions you have, and we'll hear from her here in a moment. Um, so, yeah, uh, we are all open street mappers. Um, we're all working for the same project. So in all the places that we communicate, please be kind, be helpful to one another, and be open street mappers. So try and get along and just think about others. Um, as with other years, we have a code of conduct because we want to make sure you all know you're welcome. If you see anything you're uncomfortable about with or think is inappropriate, you can contact the team either through the email address that's being shown now or through those social media channels. Um, and the team will give you emails to... Um, the private emails from myself and Christine because we're the code of conduct leads um, and we can take what you say and we'll think about it and sort it out, maybe talk to other people if needed um, or just be aware. Sometimes you might just want us to be aware of something and we can keep that to one side in our minds or it might be that we've already dealt with that situation and that's okay. But 
contacting us means um, it it can be sorted and be made aware of rather than it go to the whole team or be discussed in lots of ways. So anything you're uncomfortable about, please do contact us about that um, because we want to try and make this a safe place and a welcoming place for everyone, um, which hopefully you found already. Um, and this conference is the OpenStreetMap Foundation conference. So they help support um, the OpenStreetMap project and run it in various ways. There's a few talks later or sessions where you'll hear about OSMF and can understand it. Um, but if you're interested, you can visit the website. Everyone's welcome to be a member of the foundation. So you can visit join.osmfoundation.org to learn more about that. And um, we look forward to uh, welcoming you as a member. Um, there's more details there. And I think if you're watching the conference, you'll pick up some more understanding about the foundation. Um, I want to say a big thank you to our gold sponsors. So Esri, Facebook and Mapbox. Um, you've probably heard of these companies. They all do slightly different things um, or in different places with maps, but they're our gold sponsors. And it's great that um, they were gold sponsors, but when we announced we were going to have to be an online conference or online only, they still um, decided to support us at the same level and stay as gold sponsors. So I think that's great, just the attitude, they say. Um, but also it does financially help support um, the OSM Foundation and lets us keep running these conferences um, each year. So there were a few costs still this year. But, you know, next year we hope we can meet in person and there'll be costs and it it helps us run it. Um, and we're grateful to our other sponsors as well. So you can go to the State of the Map website and see their logos there. Um, the sponsors as well, I think, particularly these three, are running sessions. Um, so you'll be able to see them listed in the self-organized sessions. So you can meet people from these companies um, using the technology that they're using. Um, so to move on to that, what what should we expect from State of the Map this year? Well, the live broadcast is um, going to be here. So you're in the right place for that. There's also a second track, which you should find um, from the website in the same way you found this track. So there'll be lots of talks here. Um, there'll be live chats with the speakers afterwards um, for questions. So I'll explain that. But really important are the self-organized sessions. So we normally have these at State of the Map where we have a room set aside. Um, if you've had a conversation on one of the social media channels, or perhaps a talk has spurred you to start saying, you can go and arrange and say, hey, let's join on a video chat or a text chat. Um, and you can join and discuss that and get things worked out or just share experiences. So yesterday, for example, there was um, a women's breakfast where women of OpenStreetMap met and just had a chat um, and socialized a bit in that. Um, so I think that was quite informal. Later today, I'm in the UK, so I'm interested. There's one that's um, been set up because some new data has been released. And so there's some people meeting to discuss that. So you can go to the website, follow the link um, to see what uh, self-organized sessions have all been already been arranged and check the times. But also do arrange your own. And there's instructions and help on setting up your own video chat or um, an RC channel or whatever is relevant and helpful for you. Um, now to ask questions, so we'll be playing the talks, will be pre-recorded. Um, as the talk's happening, go to the website, look at the program and find the talk that you're currently listening to, whether that's in track one or track two. Click the link and on the left, there's a link to the session pad. So if you click that, that's a text document that anyone can edit. Type in your question um, and ideally do that while the talk's still happening because there's a bit of delay and it's good to get the questions out there to see them. Your session host will then see that. So when the talk finishes, um, the live stream will then show a video of the session host and of the speaker. 
Um, and the session host will look at the, the pad where you've been editing, where everyone's been editing, and we'll pick out questions from that to read and to ask aloud to the to the speaker, who will then um, hopefully be able to answer your question, or at least will try their best. Um, so make sure you edit that. Um, there is a session pad for the opening, but I wasn't planning Q&A because I've not said much. Um, but if anyone wants to go and check and practice how it's working, I can see someone's written test one, two, three. Um, and maybe in a moment, I'll ask uh, ask some questions. I'll read some things out if you want to practice um, asking a question there, um, then you can do. Um, yep, someone's saying good morning. That's how live we are. Um, and yes, yeah, so make sure you ask your questions before the uh, before the talk finishes, if possible. Um, and hopefully we'll get lots of discussion from that. Um, so there we go, moving on. Um, and you've seen this slide, but it's a recap because the social channels are important to keep the conversation going. It's not just about the talks, but it's about that interaction. You know, we've had people welcoming each other and giving introductions about how they're involved in OpenStreetMap. So do that, make sure you chat along there. And most of all, that's where the um, where you can ask questions. Um, and especially if you've forgotten anything I've said in these notices, go to the social channel and you can ask it there. Or if I've missed something, which is probably quite possible, um, then you can go there and ask those questions. Um, but now, so we were planning to be in Cape Town. That means that the local team have still been organizing lots of this conference. So I want to hand over to the lead of that um, conference, uh, Bernal, who's going to give us a welcome from her side of things. Thank you, Gregory. Hi, everyone. I'm just checking if there's an echo here. Thank you for joining the OpenStreetMap State of the Map Virtual Conference 2020. I'm sad not to be able to welcome you to Cape Town in person. These are difficult times. At the same time, I've been so revitalized by all the people willing to help. Shared energy multiplies energy and difficult times are good for innovation. My personal reason for organizing this was to learn more about using OpenStreetMap to visualize urban resource flows, to communicate to people about how how much and where we are interacting with our environment. In short, pretty mappy, mappy pictures. I was not disappointed. I have learned so much so far, particularly on the OSM Africa WhatsApp group. And I'm very excited for the talks and the posters during the next two days. Well done to all and thank you to this phenomenal community. I also know that some of you are joining from really weird time zones. I think Nadfoot said it's 3 a.m. there. Thank you <laughs> for being awake. Um, and uh, some of us are in a hammock outside, I see, on the Telegram group. I didn't know when I started that from a social point of view, the OSM contributors in South Africa is very few, not very active. I hope we can use this conference to improve that. And if there are people in the woodwork, now is a good time to come out. Thank you very much to the team, in particular the local team for helping out. A special thank you to Ruben, Nick Yagura Station, and Kyle, Nick Paratrapper, who are not primarily interested in OpenStreetMaps. They're more Linux and Debian FOSS types, but who ended up doing this because I asked them to and ended up doing most of the work with the move to online. So thank you so much, guys. I'm looking forward to engaging with you and learning with you this weekend and in future. I hope you enjoy this conference and continue to create new beautiful things. Please feel free to ask questions, give feedback, share ideas, and try new things, because now is definitely the time. Thank you. Over to Gregory again. Great. Thank you, Bernal. Um, so that was a wonderful welcome. And I can see you're using the questions and um answers pad for the opening. Someone translated it into French, which isn't so helpful if the session host is me, who is um, challenged with languages. Um, one person asked where the uh, coffee station is. I'm afraid this year you've got to provide it yourself. Um, a few years ago, if you went to State of the Map in Birmingham, you, can, you would have your mug with your name on it. 
um, from one of our sponsors. So that's my open street map mug. It's empty because I finished my tea already. Um, and so we've got about two minutes for the first talk. So just looking down, uh, seems people are also talking about where they're from. Um, so I'm um, I'm talking from England, um, the UK, and Bernal was in South Africa. Um, so we really are international, an international conference this year. Um, and it's great to see you talking. Um, so we've, yeah, as I say, we've got about two minutes um, before the first talk. There's the Q&A. Um, I think if I go back to the social media channels, these are the main social media channels. If you've just tuned in, um, you are, you've missed the notices, but don't worry. Um, if there's anything you think you needed to know, you can ask on these social media channels. There's a hashtag on um, Twitter, Sotom2020, um, and there's the Telegram chat that most of us joined a few years ago, so we're reusing that group. And there's IRC um, and our virtual info desk team, which this morning is currently chaired by Bernal. Um, they're happy to answer your questions. So do chat there. Um, and yeah, and ask any questions if you think I've forgotten anything or maybe you didn't hear it. Um, and um, yep, so by my clock, it is just about to tick to 10.20 to because we're working in UTC and I will remember that. Um, so our first speaker.